Our guest today is a longtime resident of Canarsie and she served the community for years. First, as president of the 69th Precinct Community Council, then on to assembly member, and now New York State Senator. Welcome, Senator Roxanne Prasad. Thank you. Thank you for having me here yes. today. Yes, thanks for coming. So, you know, as a freshman assembly member, you made history. First Guyanese person to hold an assembly seat. That's right. Uh huh. But you didn't rest on your laurels. I mean, you moved on pretty quickly. You went into the Senate seat. What was the decision? You know, that's, that's been my life. It's just about moving, doing things. Mm -hmm. um, getting to the assembly um, was a fantastic experience. Mm -hmm. But then when the, the Senate seat became vacant, you know, I was asked if, if I would run for that seat. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I decided, I thought about it carefully before. It was not a knee-jerk reaction. I thought about it, and then I said, I will run for that seat because I c can continue to do the things that I was doing all along in the, in the community. And now I'll do it, and it will impact a larger group of people. Right. So it's all about people. Right. And how is being a state senator different from being an assembly member? It's more responsibility. Okay. You have now the, the Senate um, s district. It's about three times the size of the assembly district. Well, close to three times the size. About 318,000 people I represent. And... Um, so you're, uh, you can be going from Brownsville to, to Sheepshead Bay, back and forth in any given day. And the needs are different because now, while I was in the assembly, I represented two housing developments, mm -hmm. uh, two NYCHA housing developments. Now in the Senate, I represent 17. Wow. So, you, so you see, and then you see the needs of the people. So th there are vast differences. Right. So, um, Senator, I, I know that... Um, you, you're facing a, a race against uh, Mercedes Narcisse, and you come from the Thomas Jefferson Democratic Club, mm -hmm. and there, there are certain people that say, oh, the senator is like a, a pawn of Frank Setio, mm -hmm. who's the Kings County Democratic Party mm -hmm. chair. How do you draw the line where you, you could be independent of Frank mm -hmm. and yet still be part of his team? I think it's, a, I, I find it funny when people say that, you know, She's a pawn, and she's just going to do only what they say. Um, I've done. I've been doing the things in in the, in the Canarsie for for many many years, right. and in the Senate and in the Assembly, I've done things independent of Frank Sedio, independent of the Thomas Jefferson Club. It's doing the things that's beneficial to the community. It's right. um, this. You know what? It doesn't matter who your godfather is, and it, mm -hmm. it come, everybody mm -hmm. thinks okay. coming from the from the Thomas Jefferson Club. I have you know, it's the whole year and thou place right and right. everything that you need and everything you want will be handed to you it's not you mm -hmm. still have to work you still have to show the people whom you represent what you're capable of doing because if you if you're not producing they'll have they'll have no respect for you well, right. and so far I that's what I continue to well do. I will say getting press releases you're the first uh, elected uh, representative that have that has addressed the Pokemon craze yeah, <laughs> we, 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 really, we really need to do that. You know what? A church called the office and says, could you help us? People were, kids were coming into the church looking <laughs> like they of a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, okay. And they were like, we have to do something. And then I was standing in a corner and someone was just walking. And I heard her say, oh my God, it's, is it here? Is it here? And I'm like, what, what? is here? Right? right? And then they said, oh, Pokemon <laughs> is good. <laughs> Because it teaches people about landmark, it teaches you about community and all of that. But people, are, it's also scary. What are some of your other priorities that you want to get accomplished if you're, you know, elected for a second term? I've been working with NYCHA because there, there are certain issues that have been ongoing. And so I've had meetings with the tenant association presidents for all the developments that I represent and the NYCHA authority and just trying to rectify some of the issues. Um, for example, I just got, I worked with them in getting funding to improve their security. Okay. Everyone talks about uh, how dangerous it is in, 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 in the housing development. And so we, we wanted to, the people who are living there to feel safe in, the, in their environment. You know, East New York just had like this huge like rezoning that's happening mm -hmm. and people are kind of afraid that they're not going to be able to afford to stay in their neighborhood. Where do you stand on that issue? Last week we attended a town hall where the mayor and the city council member and the, sem and, uh, the, uh, the other senator, we were there. Mm -hmm. And people were 
it's they were afraid of the unknown, the questions that weren't answered, okay. and so they were talking. So the mayor and everyone else was um, reassuring everyone: we are not trying to price anyone out of the district. Mm. We are not by no means. Right. Um, we're trying to, and they talked about what's come going to come once you bring the new housing in. You have to make sure the people who are living here are there are jobs that will be available to them. Right. You know, the Good developers point. must, point. must, must, must give jobs to the people in the district. And you have to make sh things affordable. There must be a certain percentage of the housing that must go to people living in the district, and they can afford it. If you go around the, the East New York area, you walk around some places, you would not believe it's the East New York that people talk about. It's changing it's already. Changed. Yeah. If yeah. you see Gateway to the mall, the second phase of the mall, I tell people, I said, we have a suburban mall here. I said, yes, you have to come and see it. People are like, what are you talking about? I said, it's, it's not what you may think. What about the elephant in the room? It's East New York. There was an off-duty cop that had an incident and killed a man, and there is the Black Lives Matter, and it's, you know, how do you feel police-community relations should be handled in communities like East New York, which is part of the district? Right. You know, for me, I worked with the police department for the past 20 years. Uh, you yeah. may know that I was the president of the precinct of the precinct council in, in Canarsie. Yeah. And I've always pushed to foster a better relationship between the people mm -hmm. and the community. And so yeah, sometimes it, it's, it's difficult because people have preconceived ideas about what police is. What have you learned, like being mm -hmm. involved with them? How do you, what did you have to get to know them. Mm -hmm. You have to be willing to step out of your comfort zone and say, okay, and you have to speak to them as, as, if, as a person. And I tell the officers when I speak with them, I said, when you're walking the streets and someone says hello to you, answer them, speak to them. That's how it starts. That's how you mm -hmm. start to build a relationship. Too often you'll see, we'll pass each other. And you, you're afraid, to, the police is afraid, to, you know, you'll see them, they'll put their hand as they're passing groups of people. And people are like, oh, there's a police officer, we don't want to talk to <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah. I, uh, we have to get away from that. If somebody wants to go ahead and contribute to their campaign, where can they find you? What's your website? Well, if you go to my Twitter handle is Senator Prasad mm -hmm. and um, Facebook Senator Roxanne Prasad. The, the campaign headquarters is 77 Conklin Avenue, and that's Brooklyn, that's right here in the heart of Brooklyn. And they can find us there. And, you know, we're, look, we're always willing to, to have people come on board and, and assist us in any way possible because we work, I want to work with everyone. Mm -hmm. I have 320,000 constituents to work with. Mm -hmm. I cannot be selective in whom I'm working with. Nice. So like that. that's right. just the way I'm. All right. Good right. luck with that. Good luck. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so thank much you. for joining us. Thank you very much. Yes. Keep it locked.